Hello! Today we're making two super easy delicious refrigerator pies using store-bought graham cracker crusts. One pie will be lime and the other will be peach. And the magical binding ingredient is unflavored gelatin. So let's get started. I've got a little dance music going in my own head. Trying to think of where I put the mixing bowl. Okay, for the lime pie, we're going to use two lime yogurts, Cool Whip, some lime zest that I keep in the freezer for just such occasions, sugar-free powdered lime jello mix, and the unflavored gelatin. I have just a little bit of water in this mug. See? Just, just a little bit. I'm going to heat it up really, really hot in the microwave, like, I don't know, two minutes, really hot, and then dissolve this one packet of plain gelatin in the water, and I will use half of that for the lime pie and half for the peach pie, and that's going to help solidify the pie so it's sliceable and it's not just mushy like pudding. And we're going to do that first so that once this dissolves in the hot water, it has a little bit of time to cool before I mix it in with the other ingredients. So we'll get this going first. Similarly, I am going to heat up some water and dissolve the lime powdered jello mix in a small amount of very hot water for the lime pie. And for the peach pie, I will dissolve some orange jello mix in a very small amount of water. And yes, it would make more sense to have peach jello, but this was on sale. Basically, Dissolve your gelatins in a very small amount of very hot water and then let the water cool a bit. Okay, I just poured the unflavored gelatin in this hot water and I'm just going to use this little whisk to blend it up so there aren't any lumps. So that's all dissolved and I'm just going to let it cool a little bit. And we'll open these up, orange and the lime, to get them ready. Okay, so these are going into their hot water. That's the lime. This is the orange, which we're going to pretend is peach. Stir, stir, stir. Now the reason we're using this very small amount of water is, of course, because we want this blast of flavor without massively diluting the pie filling, and we want the jelloiness of the jello to help hold the pie together. I guess I can go ahead and just put a little bit extra from the unflavored gelatin into each one just to get that extra binding power. Now those can cool for a second over here while we get on with our other ingredients. We'll start with putting these two lime yogurts into this little bowl. Often when I have citrus fruit, before I peel it and eat it, I will zest the outside and save the zest in little baggies in the freezer. So I have orange, lime, and lemon zest ready to go anytime I might need them. And I have this amazing coffee cake recipe that uses orange zest, which I haven't made in a while. And now I'm thinking, I should make that. Bloop, 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 bloop. Put in a little bit of the lime zest. Well, that was a lot, a lot of bit of lime zest. To add extra lime flavor and prettiness and, and prettiness and zestiness, liminess. Now you really don't want to pour your super hot lime jello water right in here because it's gonna screw up the yogurt and melt it and make it weird, I suspect. And I really don't want to put this in the fridge to cool it off quickly because then I'm afraid it's gonna completely harden up. So we're just gonna let it cool on the counter a little bit longer and we're gonna go organize the pantry and you won't even know it was gone back in a sec, hold tight. All right, that's a little cooler now. It's still not cold, so I don't want to pour it directly in because I think that when the warmer liquid hits the cold yogurt, this will start to solidify and make weird little jello lumps. In fact, I know it will because I've done that before. So what we're going to do is take a little bit of the yogurt 
and put it in there in with the dissolved gelatin and stir it around to kind of temper it. And then we can add the contents of the mug back in here and the jello shouldn't blobify into little lumps. So we'll go ahead and pour that in. And then we will put in some Cool Whip. When I was a kid and we used to make pies like this, it would be a whole container of Cool Whip to two yogurts. But back then, yogurts, I think, were eight ounces each. And they just don't make them that way now, do they? Because they're cheap and they want us to think that, oh, the prices are low, the prices have stayed consistent, that the prices haven't risen. But it's really because they're making everything smaller. I mean, have you noticed a half gallon of ice cream? It's not a half gallon of ice cream anymore. It's the same shaped package, and it looks like it's the same size, but it's really only a quart and a half. All right, we've got to get all that mixed together, which is not easy to do with my spatula, so I'm going to go back to the whisk. Gently whisk and fold your ingredients together. Isn't that pretty? Nice and fluffy and limey and delightful. Oops, oh yes. Then we just pour this into the pie crust and pop it in the fridge. And within a couple of hours, it's gonna be firm and sliceable and delightful and amazing. In the past, I've done this where after I put the lime in, I made a layer with vanilla yogurt and the gelatin and put it on top so it kind of made it look like lime meringue pie. That was quite delightful. Okay, so that's going in the fridge. Now for the peachy pie, I'm gonna put half a can of peaches into the Nutribullet and blend it up. Alrighty, so we've got some liquid peach now. So I want to do my same little tempering trick. So I'm going to put some of the pureed peaches in with the peach flavored jello. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I know it's orange, but say la vie. And you might be wondering why only half a can of peaches did I puree. It's because that's all I had, because I used the other half to make a smoothie yesterday for one of the kids. So now we had a half a can of peaches. So there we have the puree mixed in with the jello. We have the peach puree. We're gonna use the same bowl that, no, I'm not even gonna bother to wash out. It's got the lime residue in it, who cares? All right, next we're gonna put some peach yogurt into the bowl. Now, I know you guys have had a long, hard day. And you might be seeing things. And you might be thinking to yourself, uh, that looks like vanilla yogurt. Now, I assure you, it's peach. Who would be so silly as to not have gotten peach yogurt or peach jello? Those lime yogurts, I think, were 5.3 ounces each. And these peach yogurts, let's get rid of those containers. They're six ounces each, I think. Alrighty. Cool Whip in pureed peaches in, and dissolved gelatin in. Stir slash fold that all together. These refrigerator pies are so quick and easy, and they're such a nice dessert in the spring and summer, or any time of year, with their light fruity flavors. I mean, I know, who doesn't love a brownie sundae? But that's kind of a heavy dessert. This is a lighter dessert. One could always do these pies in layers. Like I said, how I put the vanilla layer on top of the lime the last time I did it. You could do pies that had a layer of peach and a layer of lime. Peach and lime go really nicely together. You could do this with strawberry puree and strawberry yogurt and strawberry jello. You could do it any fruity flavor you want. The lime mixed with coconut yogurt would be pretty amazing. Alrighty, so that's all stirred together. Pour that into the graham cracker crust. Now these graham cracker crusts are from Walmart and they were pretty cheap, I have to say. They were pretty affordable. 
Because graham cracker crusts are not always as affordable as I feel they should be. It's pretty easy to make your own graham cracker crust if you have a whole bunch of dumpster graham crackers lying around. When we have graham crackers in the house, they don't lie around for very long. Just the right amount of filling to not completely overflow the pie crust. So now this is going in the fridge. And here are the pies. There's the lime and there's the peachy orange. So now let's see how they slice. All right, we'll see if it's holding together. Ah, perfect. Nice work there. And now for peachy orange. Impressive. All right, girls, you ready to try some pie? Mm -hmm. All right. You like it? Excellent. How about you, Autumn? Hmm. <laughs> yeah? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> 